Continuing coverage in the case against Lori Vallow, accused of murdering her two children. Today, Chandler police released their full investigation into the so-called doomsday mom. Fox 10's Justin Lum reports. A new look at Chandler PD's case against Lori Vallow, accusing her of conspiring to murder Charles Vallow back in 2019. Never before seen interviews detail the narrative initially given to detectives after the deadly shooting. As you said over here. For the first time, we see and hear what was said to Chandler police the day Charles Vallow was shot and killed. These interviews take place on July 11, 2019, after what police initially called a domestic dispute between a strange husband and wife, Charles and Lori Vallow. Because he's coming at her aggressively. Okay. He's a big dude, so I wasn't going to. He's not going to hurt my sister. Lori's brother, Alex Cox, shot Charles and claimed self-defense. At CPD, Lori tells police Charles went ballistic when she wouldn't give him back his phone. He came to pick up their adopted seven-year-old son, JJ, that morning. He was very worried about whatever was on his text mm -hmm. that he did not want me to see. And so I was just holding it there, and he was screaming at me. Charles planned an intervention with Lori's other brother, Adam Cox, per investigators. Months before the shooting, Charles told Gilbert police that Lori believed she was a god and accused him of being a dark spirit. He wanted to get her mentally evaluated. During the July 11th confrontation, 16-year-old Tylee Ryan says she brought out a baseball bat for protection. In hindsight, I probably just shouldn't have brought it out at all because it caused more trouble. But it was kind of just first instinct and it was right by my bed. Tylee mm -hmm. tells police Charles snatched it away. Lori says Alex wrestled her husband to the ground and Charles swung the bat. Like swinging the bat, you know, back and forth and they were kind of like on the ground and I was like freaking out trying to go around knowing JJ was in the car. And then he started advancing towards you. Yes. Um, how many shots did you fire? Uh, I don't know. A couple. Detectives believe evidence shows Alex took 43 minutes to call 911. I got in a fight with my brother-in-law and I shot him in self-defense. A little more than a month after this interview, Lori, Alex, JJ, and Tylee all moved to Rexburg, Idaho. <laughs> Only Lori is still alive today, a co-defendant with her husband Chad Daybell as they face murder charges in the deaths of her kids and Chad's first wife. <laughs> in April of 2021, investigators spoke to key witnesses including Alex's widow, Zulema Pastenes, who was also a friend of Lori and Chad. She told investigators Alex left a duffel bag of money within two days of his sudden death. I said, why would you say something like that? And then he said, um, just in case. Zulema also told police that Chad believed his first wife, Tammy, was supposed to pass away on a trip to Utah a little more than a week before she died. Then what the, they were saying was that she actually did pass away but what happened was that she was taken over by an evil spirit and then they were, um, that she had become a zombie, okay? So, in the back of my mind, here I am thinking, okay, they said the same thing about Charles. Right now, Lori Vallow is in the custody of Idaho's Department of Health and Welfare. She's been deemed incompetent and she's treated for her mental health, so her case is still on hold. Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.